Writing another letter to your sister? Nope. This time she sent one to him. <laughs> Man, she hardly ever writes back. Hope this ain't a bad omen. Shut it. Aizen, that's great news! I told her about all of you in my last letter. Seems she was amused. Says you sound appropriate for me, and she'd love to meet you. Weird sister you've got. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> a girl weird enough to want to live alongside the Reaper, no matter the cost. I'd love to meet her, too. I'll warn you. Touch my sister and I'll kill you. Right? Sheesh, you say that to every guy you meet. Awfully protective. Nah, just obsessed. That's even worse. We'll all go meet her together someday. I like your confidence. Yeah, I man the wheel of my own ship. I, as do I. And all of you. And even her. Ready or not, here I come! Ring it on! Okay, gonna find you! Having fun? Uh, 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 Kamawana insisted that we play, so... Madam Eleanor! I followed Kamawana for you! She's hiding right over there. Wow, cheating against a kid? That's low. I didn't! Bad Pianfu! No cheating! Huh? But when I play with Miss Maki Lu, she always makes me do that! She's a terrible influence on you. Eleanor! Why aren't you looking for me? I found you, Kamalana! And Dial! What? No fair! See? That's cheating! I didn't cheat. I simply utilized Pianfu's cheating. That's called strategy. <laughs> Plans must be solid and reactions flexible, right? Right. See, Kamoana? I'm smart and strong. You don't have to worry about me. Don't worry. I believe in you, Eleanor. I'm just worried that Bianfu will get you in trouble. Why am I the bad guy now? I can handle Bianfu too. Don't worry. I'll make sure everyone makes it back safe. Okay, it's a promise. Come on, If you're feeling better now, head back, okay? It's too cold, you'll go into hibernation. No sleeping! Dial's it next, cause he's a crocodile! I'm not a crocodile, I'm a lizard. Isn't that the same thing? Not even close! You think crocodiles can regrow their tails? It has to be possible. There must be a way to make a better world for everyone. Humans, demons, Malakim. And I intend to find it. It might take years. No, decades, centuries, generations. Even if it takes me millennia, I'll do it. Playing the long game, I take it? I believe in you, Eleanor. You'll find a way. I will. Once I've made up my mind, nothing can stop me. Yep. Trust me, we know.
What's that sound? It's Kurogane. He must be forging another sword. He certainly is. The old fellow's forging himself into a blade. He's turning himself into a sword? He can do that? Is that possible? Who knows? Either way, it's what he decided to do. We had one last drink together. You'd go that far to defeat Shigure and Stormhowl. I would. I'll turn a friend into a sword to kill my own brother. I'm a jerk. I'm in no position to judge. I think you are. Whatever you may look like, you're human. You hate because you love, and feel as much hurt as you do anger. That's human. <laughs> Kurogane is with me. He agreed to it. What our blacksmith friend feels towards Stormhowl is more than resentment. It's admiration, too. That's why he wanted to do it. He wanted to put everything he had into one final clash. Shigure's the same. He has that very human strength to take the good along with the bad and just keep pushing ahead. A strength that I, as a demon, can never match. Brooding doesn't suit you, Rokuro. You wanted to be a swordsman greater than any other. That's why you fought and bled to perfect your skills. That's the sort of man you are. <sighs> yep. That's who I am. I like that part of you, Rokuro. Me too. Thanks. Lord of Calamity, your schemes are your own business. But I won't stand by if Kamawana's fate is involved. It's a bit late for that. If you mean to stop me, you'll have to strike me down first. You asked for it! Achoo! I found an inn with a nice big hot spring. Warm yourself up before you catch cold. What a darling you are! I'll take you up on that. Gotta conserve my strength! Good idea. Fee, want to join me? What? N no way! No need to hold back on my account. The bath at the inn should be huge. That's not the problem! Achoo! See? Hurry up and get in. I'll bathe alone, thank you. You go first. Fine, fine. <gasps> what is it? Just a little errand. Watch these folks for a bit, alright? Looks like you got our message. You plan on awakening the four Empyreans? Age hasn't dulled your wits, I see. Surely you know the consequences. You know the chaos you will bring if you take that route. Oh yeah, so much chaos. Inominat's amplified resonance will return to normal, the Malachim will regain free will. 
Many exorcists will lose their power to do whatever they do, and the Abbey will lose its means of control. While the demon threat will remain unchanged. Not only that, but the elemental balance of this world will be thrown into turmoil for hundreds of years. Earth will shift, skies will go mad, seas will swell, volcanoes will erupt. It'll be quite a show. All of civilization will regress. The eruption of Mount Killerus alone will rob humanity of its source of flamestone and consequently of gunpowder. Mmm, sounds fun. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm sure mankind will think of something. Go humans, right? Just what do you think humans are? The wellspring of all malevolence. Thus must emotion be quelled, and reason bring order to the world, until the day that humanity can repent and overcome their sins. I get that right? You did. Inomi not was awakened for that very purpose. We are the instruments of change, hated for our sacrifice. We are the shadow of the shepherd who brings salvation. Will you not return to our side? You still seem to think of yourself as a maven. I can think of nothing more boring than your ideal world. It is a world of purity. A garden of fake flowers, good for show and nothing else. It's a world of order built on righteous ideals. Those ideals are twisted! Can a flower hold beauty if it does not wilt? Can a wolf be satisfied eating grass? The thought makes me rich, as do those who wish for it, and those content to live in shackles! Let the biting bugs go ahead and eat what they want to eat. Let the weeds grow where they want to grow! Some may look down on them and scoff at their foolishness, but their unwavering wills are proof that they're alive! If that's what you call evil, then I will live and die with evil as my mantra! Then I have no choice but to crush you. Used to treating people as bugs, aren't you? We got your back, Magilu. Wait. Now is not the time. His life belongs to the Lord of Calamity. Melchior Maven? I'll see you at the volcano. Don't you worry. I'll be sure to be there as you breathe your last. Very well. It will save me the trouble of having to crush you one by one. You haven't changed at all, Master. Ah, oh, what a nice bath. How was the men's side? Uh, not bad. I feel warmer now. Hmm? Your face is all red. In there too long? Uh, uh, no, um, I feel fine. <sighs> oh. You mind? Help me comb my hair. Can I? Yes, please. <sighs> oh. <gasps> Be careful, okay? I can't contain it. Uh. Mm. You know something, Velvet? Your hair is really beautiful. Oh. You know, that power that I have... If 
I could master the silver flame, I might be able to turn you back into a human. A human, huh? If we ever had a chance to start over, I'd love to cook for you every day. My quiches are much better than anything they sell in the stores. Okay, then I'll fetch the water and chop the firewood. <laughs> All by yourself? Of course! I'm gonna get a lot taller soon, and I'm gonna get stronger too. Yes, you will. I know you will. Great! Then I'll start looking for a way to master- No. Uh it's too late. I've made too many sacrifices. Too many to ever come back from. I can't. But Velvet... Even worse, I haven't stopped. I'm willing to sacrifice others to keep going forward. If we kill Inomi not, what will happen to the Therians who are part of him? Will they return to normal? Well... It's likely that they'll all die. I know it. I dug my own grave. But what about Kamoana and Medissa? Uh... More importantly, what about you, Fi? You are connected to him. Uh... I know I might die if I go through with this, but still I have to do it. Even if it means I have to sacrifice everyone that I know, even you who saved me. The Lord of Calamity isn't a demon lord. She's just a selfish, horrible girl. I have something to confess. <laughs> I... I don't like being called Fee. I really don't. <gasps> I think that name's too childish. Luffy said the same thing to me. I'm sure that he did. Velvet, you really don't understand boys at all. Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. It's okay. Forgive you. <laughs> Thank you, Luffy said. Is Velvet in there? Uh, yeah, but now's not the best time. I'm here. Dry up. Break time's over. The Leggets have arrived. Another Scarlet Night. Losing your nerve, Velvet? I think not. Don't worry. Leave Shigure to me. Where's Kurogane? Here with me. Kurogane and I will cut Shigure down. And Aizen. Sorry, but Melchior's mine to eat. Got it? Got it. But at the very least... You're gonna let me watch. Magilu, you do whatever you want. Go nuts out there. I'm always nuts! Benwick, when you see your chance, take the others back to the Von Eltia and await orders. Aye, aye. Luffy said? Let's go! Eleanor, keep Luffy set safe, please. I will. Worry not. Let's move. 
We go to kill the Exorcist Legates and engulf this world in the flames of chaos! See you soon, Kay! If only I could just use my power to seal Enominat. Looks like you're raring to go, eh, Lafayette? Just don't be too eager to help, okay? You've got a bad habit of trying to play the good guy. Oh no, I'm not a good guy. I'm a selfish, wicked little boy. Oh, is that so? But if you acknowledge your own selfishness, then it's something you've chosen for yourself, right? Yeah. Then we have that in common. Now, all that's left is to follow your own creed. Only that. Besides, I'm a demon. Even if you were the worst of the worst, I'd be like, cool. Thanks, Aizen. Thanks, Rokuro. <sighs> Velvet. Don't give up on Lafayette just yet, okay? So, you were eavesdropping on us at the inn. Heavens! I never knew a Praetor to be so utterly shameless! All right, I was. What I'm trying to say is... I know. No matter how selfish you are, life's empty without anyone to share it with. Correct. She's got a point. More than anything, I don't want to give up. Pretty strange, isn't it? It's amazing. Ah, <sighs> uh, it's not like I'm happy about it or anything. If you're worried about Lafayette or Salika, you don't need to be. I was just wondering what makes the moon turn so red. They say the crimson moon is a gate to beyond, and is proof of humanity's sins. A sign of sin, huh? Maybe the moon drinks up the innocent blood spilled by the wicked. My, it would take a wicked mind indeed to come up with something like that. Please, don't say such frightening things. A scarlet night occurs whenever a full moon is in a certain position. The land and the moon pull at each other, and Earth Pulse energy spills into the sky, turning it red. Yes, and the amount of power is said to create enough mana to affect even an Empyrean. So that's why the ritual is done on a scarlet night. But the world of humanity is violent, and the Earth Pulse is stained with all the blood spilled throughout history. So Rokuro's theory might have hit a little closer to the truth than expected. <laughs> oh, a wild guess hits the mark. Don't get used to it. It sure does look grim, though. Yeah. I can feel a powerful earth pulse flowing inside it. It looks like we can reach the core from there. <laughs> 